Welcome back to Full Moon Pocket Stock. We're going to talk about something we don't normally talk about much on our channel, and that's our meat bird operation. So, we usually do two to three batches a year, and this is our first batch for this year. We are going to be doing one more um, for 2021, and that'll be our last time doing them for the public. Um, right now, we have a buyer for all of these and almost all of the next one. We'll keep 30 of the next batch uh, for our personal use. But we just kind of stumbled on meat birds and we kind of went, we had somebody who wanted them, so we started doing more of them last year. And it's just a tactic this year. Um, so we use the Soskovich style tractors and we've had really good luck. This is like our second or third variation of meat bird tractors um, and the other ones we really don't like like I've seen polyface's design and I'm not really a big fan of it um, it's hard to get birds out of like with this we can move these things pretty easy with the wheels we don't have predator problems this year because of Ruby she's been awesome um, but some people will put a hot wire uh, John Siskovich um, did a great job designing these and kind of going over a whole pasture poultry operation that you can get into. Um, but we are three or four days away um, from these guys going to the butcher. And for that, we'll just back a tra uh, cattle trailer up, load them on there, and then the customer will take them to the butcher. To handle it so that would be nice and easy um we for the first we keep these guys to about eight to nine weeks um the first two two weeks normally they're in the they're inside in the brooder which is in our garage which does suck um but these guys had to stay a little bit longer we had a really bad spring we had a lot of loss um the wet and cold got to them. We, you can actually kind of see a, two uh, straw bales there. We had other ones as well that we were uh, using to kind of stop the cold and wind from getting to them. So it was. It's been a bad year. We've we've taken our licking uh, with a meat bird. Um, so that's part of the reason why uh, we're not doing them next year um, because. We got to focus on what we're good at, and that's raising pigs and sheep. So, we move these guys every day. And as you can kind of see, you can see where they've been. But it's really done well. Um, this ground is going to, grass will really grow up even better. Kind of take a walk out here. But we started way down by those bags. Um, but the grass past it has already started to recover and grow back. This will grow as well. And here's a good look at it. But we'll mow this down. And then we have to decide how we're going to start the next group. Um, the grass won't be ready back there um, but this grass will definitely not be ready we want it to sit for a little while before we put chickens back on it for the manure to kind of get incorporated into the ground but we do things a little bit differently one we don't use the Cornish the Cornish crosses we use the Cornish I think they're broilers they're not like the normal ones you would get from like tractor supply or runnings. We get them from a hatchery. And these ones actually, they normally take a little bit longer to finish out. So what we do is the first five to six weeks, they get full feed. We get them up nice, good size. And then what we start doing is 
We feed them generally in the morning now. These two groups are a little bit farther behind than that one. They have a different type of feeder, which has more feed in them. These ones had like a trough style. So we kind of, at night, we give these guys a little bit extra. Um, but they have their water all day. They have grass. And you guys can kind of see, these are some nice birds. So our second group last year, we had some that were nine to 11 pounds. Um, we aim for a five to seven pound bird. And it seems to work pretty well. Our customers love them. And I know the ones last year that were later, um, people were buying those for Thanksgiving turkeys. Or instead of turkeys, they were doing these nice chickens that are pasture raised and that do really well. So this is kind of what we do. Like I said, this is our last few days for this group. And then we will actually have a chicks coming this week going into the brooder and then in a couple weeks they'll be outside and i think the plan is we're gonna have ruby and i think we're gonna bring spike over to uh help out because we had predator problems in the past and we went in here with ruby and we haven't had any issues this year losing any birds to predators but this is kind of what we have going on what we do we give them a good feed mix they are on finisher now and they get their water they're moved every day i love these Soskovich style huts uh, chicken tractors because there's so much room i can go in there with ease and they have plenty of room in there so, if you guys have any questions, shoot them to us. But chickens are, uh, these guys are almost done. Thanks a lot. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let us have any feedback. Thanks. Bye.